There's an intriguing question and answer with the physicist Leonard Susskind in the current issue of Scientific American. That's July 2011. In it, he insists that reality may be forever beyond the reach of human understanding. There are a lot of reasons for his claim, and I won't go into all of them here, but if you can find the issue at your library or somewhere else, it's worth your time. Here's a short answer that he gave to a slightly paraphrased question. The question was, is there room in which to, in the present state of theory in physics, for such a thing as reality? And here in part is how he answered. Every physicist must have some sense that there are objective things in the world and it's our job to go out and find out what those objective things are. I don't think you could do that without having a sense that there is an objective reality. The evidence for objective reality is that experiments are reproducible. If you kick a rock once, you'll hurt your toe. If you kick it twice, you'll hurt your toe twice. Do the same experiment over and over with a rock and you'll reproduce the same effect. That said, physicists almost never talk about reality. The problem is that what people tend to mean by reality has more to do with biology and evolution and with our hardwiring and our neural architecture than it has to do with physics itself. We're prisoners of our own neural architecture. We can visualize some things, we can't visualize others. Einstein's abstract four-dimensional geometry was hard to concretely visualize. It became visualizable through mathematical relations. When relativity suddenly appeared, it must have seemed to many people what happened to the real world, what happened to real space. It just got mixed up into this funny thing, but there were no rules. But there are rules. The point was there were clear and precise mathematical rules that had been abstracted out of it. And these survived, and the old notion of reality went away. So I say, let's get rid of the word reality. Let's have our whole discussion without the word reality. It gets in the way. It conjures up things that are rarely helpful. The word reproducible is a more useful word than real.